This is a neat little USB power supply I got from Lidl some time ago, quite a long time ago. And basically speaking, you can plug a load into it like this light, um, or your phone, and when you press the button, it activates the load. It's got that little annoying quirk that if you plug in quite a light load, like one of these lights, which would have been nice, it's light at the moment, but if I unplug it and leave it for a second for it to uh, detect there's no load connected, it will reset. Hopefully it's not going to make a fool of me. Nope, there it goes. And it's really annoying because then when you press the button, because it's a light load, it won't latch. It only latches if it detects quite a significant load, which is a shame because it would have been really nice as a little uh, temporary lighting light source. But it works fine with this. And I decided to give it a test on the little battery analyzer I've got. So I plugged this in and I just left it sitting. And I left it sitting and it ran for ages. And I'm thinking, that's really surprising. I wonder what the capacity of this is. So when it charged, it came up at 948 milliamp hours. And that to me means it's probably a one amp hour um, battery in it that's just getting a wee bit older or maybe just because um, there's a technique when you're charging lithium cells that to get the full capacity you charge them up until it reaches the voltage threshold and then it sort of it monitors that and it just keeps trickling with, without going over that voltage threshold but it just gradually tops it up to um, a, a predetermined level. You can trickle charge lithium cells, it's, it's you must stop absolutely at 4.2 volts. But anyway, uh, this is the nice feature that uh, if you want to charge it again, you just this is held on by a magnet and you can just plug it into the charger. So anyway, I opened it up. Quite easy to open up. I put a pair of pliers in here and opened them and it broke the seal in the case. So here, here we have the inside and the lithium cell. There's a circuit board for the connector. I don't know what else is on that. Let's take a wee look, shall we? Here's the lithium battery. The lithium battery says 1000 milliamp hour. There you go. That's quite accurate then. So that's got little tabs that go onto the back circuit board. There's this random little choke that uh, goes from that board and onto this. Is there feedback? I don't see feedback. No components other than that. The connector, a little surface mount capacitor. Between the positive and the negative. And that appears to be it. Okay. So, why the choke? Okay, let's uh, take this to bits further, shall we? Try not to short out the lithium battery and have a little fireworks show. Hmm, quite complicated compared to the older ones. There's the button that starts it. There's the little white LED that shines through the button. Well, sh shines through the side of the case, uh, just beside the button. 4R7. Is that 4.7 ohms? Oh, that might be a, you know what that is? That's possibly a thermistor to protect against short circuits. It's got this sort of colour of a thermistor. 
I would uh, meter it to see if it is 4.7 ohms, but uh, I don't particularly wish to because I'd have to disconnect this lithium cell first and it's all a wee bit ugh. It's the usual uh, metal tabs coming out. I don't know if there's any protection circuitry in the cell itself. Oh, I don't really want to start taking these bits to bits off. I think the protection circuitry and charging circuitry is these little chips. Because there's a couple of little multi-pin chips. This could be a tiny little microcontroller to deal with the uh, switching on and off of the charging and detecting a load. It's all very tiny and to be honest it's an older unit. So I'm not going to go too, too detailed into this, but it was interesting to see what's inside and it does at least show that the, uh, the result I got from the charging, the capacity, that shows that this little pack, uh, it does show that, you know, the, the milliamp hour rating is pretty accurate because that uh, getting 940 odds for a 1000 milliamp hour pack is, is pretty good. Yes, now I shall put this back together again, I think. Mm, yes, indeed.